CIA scholars, how are you all? Hope you all are in good health. I am also fine. Now, today all of you got that online assignment regarding level 1, level 2 and level 3 clearing the basic of maths, right? So, in respect of that, today I would like to discuss basic concepts of number line and number system that will help you to solve level 2 and level 3. So, let us start. You know a number line, right? What is a number line? It is representation of numbers on a line. Representation of numbers on a line. That is called a number line. So, is this right? This is a number line? Yes. It has zero. It has some positive numbers and it has some negative numbers. You can see that on right side of zero, there are positive numbers and on left side of zero, there are negative numbers. Now in number system, we will see how to segregate them in different number sets. So, if I take all positive numbers from 1 to infinite, positive numbers from 1 to infinite, they are called natural numbers. They are called natural numbers and they are denoted by capital N. Fine? Now, if I add one more number in that, 0, so it will become whole numbers and that we will denote by W. So, two sets. Natural numbers that is N and whole numbers that is W. Now you can see that all members of natural numbers are members of whole numbers. Right? All members of natural numbers are members of whole numbers. But all members of whole number are not the member of natural numbers. Clear? Good. So we have discussed two sets N and W. Now a set which includes natural numbers, whole numbers and all negative numbers is called set of integers. What? Set of integers. We denote it by capital Z. What does Z include? All positive numbers, all negative numbers and 0. Fine? Good. So, all members of N are members of W. All members of W are members of Z. But all members of Z are not members of W and all members of W are not members of M. That is clear now, right? Okay. Now, if I want to represent a number in between two whole numbers or in between two integers. For example, 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2. This is not a whole number, right? This is not an integer. Obviously, it is not a natural number. So, where to show these numbers? So, such numbers, what we normally call fractions, are known as rational numbers. They are denoted by Q. And they are represented in between any two integers. Repeating again. Rational numbers are represented between any two integers. For example, 1 by 2. What does it indicate? 
I have taken one part from total two parts. Right? And as numerator is less than the denominator, it is a proper fraction. And proper fraction always comes in between 0 and 1. So, 1 by 2 will be placed somewhere over here. Understood? Yes. So, this is the basic of number system. What we discussed? N, W, Z, Q. Now, above all, the set which includes all these numbers is called a set of real numbers which is denoted by R. But that is out of our scope now as it is not covered in the syllabus yet. So, now we will focus N, W, Z and Q. And in next session, I will discuss the rules to solve or to simplify the integers and the rational numbers. Hope you are enjoying this. See you then. Bye.